Good evening and thanks for joining us. It was a day full of fond memories of Honolulu Mayor Frank Fossey. Tomorrow he will be buried at the National Cemetery of the Pacific at Punch Bowl. KITV 4's Catherine Cruz joins us now with the details. Catherine? Well, Paula, at Fossey's memorial service, there were lots of tears and smiles recalling stories about Honolulu's longest serving mayor. But now he'll be laid to rest in a spot overlooking the city that he loved so much. For one last day, Mayor Frank Fossey returned to Honolulu Hale. A day long tribute. Frank Fossey, you did it. You did it. And then. Those final minutes in the building where he spent so much of his life. Full honors for the man who seemed forever the fearless fixture on the third floor. Friends and foes said goodbye, and the family who shared him with the city standing by. And off in the day's distance, the echo of a eulogy. A man's life can easily be summed up by his accomplishments and achievements. But the true measure of a man is often found in the simple acts of love and kindness which touch the hearts and lives of the people he met. And those closest to Frank Fossey reflected on today's outpouring of gratitude. It was my pleasure to share him really with the city with the people who are so appreciative of, what, appreciative of what he's done. He touched so many lives, and he was just such a regular guy, and uh, he made himself available to everyone. Embraced by well-wishing taxpayers today, tomorrow his honor heads up the hill to Punch Bowl. The tough-talking, get-things-done Marine mayor will rest here. It's just to the left of the Punch Bowl Memorial. It's a spot we're told was recently vacated by a decaying banyan tree. What timing? Quite the resting place for quite a guy. And tomorrow morning at 11, the hearse will leave New on a mortuary and drive Honolulu's longest serving mayor by Honolulu Hale one last time. Chances are city workers will be outside to say aloha, maybe even flashing a shaka sign one last time. Catherine Cruz, KITV 4 News.